Welcome back to Destination Now. Today, we're taking you to one of the more challenging places we have ever gone, but it's well worth it. It is actually not advisable for RVs and truck campers to go down the road. We've been down there a few times, and we know exactly what to do and how to get in, and we know it's spring to help get us down there. So join us on today's adventure. Wherever I go, I will always know Everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. If I step on the throttle and we get a lot of boots, it makes a weird sound. You're going to hear it here in a minute. Swimming, repeat, dude. I think it's a uh, boot, actually. Like we sprung a leak. It sounds like. When you take a balloon, you fill it up with air, and then oh. you pull it tight, you go... Yeah. It, that's exactly the sound that it makes, which is rubber vibrating under high pressure as air passes through it. It's all good. We'll just stop and save way and fix it real quick. There we go. Well, there we should throw the sign. Can't even read it. So there's a reason why they call this place the Lost Coast. It is completely disconnected from society and civilization. When you come out here, you are on your own. Uh, it will take a long time for emergency services to get out here to save you. If you could even get a phone call out, there's no cell coverage whatsoever. Uh, the only reason we have any coverage is because we have Starlink. The road going in requires high clearance. There it is very rutted out and rough terrain and there's a lot of your vehicle has to be able to articulate all the crazy terrain out here uh it's highly likely that your body panels will get scratched from all the bushes you're going to rub up against from the overgrowth on the trail uh this is rough man. i i this is one of my favorite places to go to but i don't recommend it i really don't um there's a sign at the beginning of the trail that says no RVs. We get around that because we're not an RV, we are a truck camper. That's very, very different. We have four wheel drive, we're high clearance, uh, we have strong axles, uh, we have a short wheelbase, uh, but we are very high. And I bring a ladder and a reciprocating saw with me to cut down branches if they're too low. And we do have to do it from time to time. This is one of those. Uh, progress at your own risk or better yet just enjoy the episode and see what it's all about chalk it up to a good time sitting on your couch and enjoying the episode for us we're gonna be here now we're gonna enjoy the hell out of it They know what they know what they're doing. <laughs> I love you. Ah, <laughs> uh, greatest place on earth. They are gonna love this. Oh place. my god. Go ahead. I know. They're gonna love it. You're welcome. <laughs> Producer credit. <laughs> Say there's a whale. Oh, I see it. There a bunch of whales. There's a ton of whales. Oh, that's amazing. Look, there's there's another another kind of whale there too. Who is snarling? What kind of whales do you, are they? I, I totally know. thought they were sailboats. <laughs> I was like, those aren't whales. Those are sailboats. Oh, wait a minute. For a second, and I was like, I feel like the humpbacks are already up. Oh. Wow. Oh, oh dude. God. Way out there. That was a 
tightening down the tie downs and it's a really rough road getting here or slid back about oh six inches going up that crazy has a bumpy road so the camper slid down slid back about six inches on that road so they're flopping around back there it's all good though we got it thanks for checking in I'm wondering what the inside of that camper looks like right now. Whoa, dude. That was a whole bunch of bumps. At this point in the road, you had, last time you had reached your full level of men. Well, because these trees were like, this one I remember getting out because we were worried we were going to lean into it. Oh my gosh, this is so close. And then this one right here, we had to watch it, and now we're, again, very leaning into it. Oh, goodness, there's the panic. The tree leaning over on one side, the tree hugging us on this side, Just rubbing somewhere right here. This is without a doubt the craziest road we've ever taken this truck and camera on. Both. And now we've done it three times. <laughs> oh, that's really fitted right there. But it's a pretty view. That is so good. I'm just going to ignore the fact that that's not pleasant. See what's up there. Can you put the stick down? Oh my gosh. What a mess. Yes. Everything stayed on the wall. It's actually not that bad. Ay, ay, ay. Don't open the fridge, though. All right. That was a really rough road in. Seems to be rougher than normal. It's rougher every time we come in because it gets really rutted when it's rainy. But we made it, we survived, we're here. And no matter what time we seem to leave, we always get here at dark. So tonight we're gonna set up camp and have a little fun and then tomorrow in the daylight, we'll show you guys around. some delicious eggs and toast on the beach this morning. Where are we? Where is it? Knows. It's a secret place in California. Some might call it the Lost Coast. Nobody really knows where it is. 
but those that know, know. And those that don't know, well, you know. You just don't know. I guess you just don't know. You have to be a little crazy to come out here. Who brings carpet to the beach? Like shag carpet. This guy. Oh yeah. yeah there we go. Oh yeah. Book the destination now. The, uh, vacuum the beach. Keep the sand off the beach. Out here on the Lost Coast, it's a bit of a free for all. While many people enjoy camping in the forest or on the shore. Our favorite spot is by this giant log. For beach days, we pack everything into our four-wheel vehicles and head down to the sand for some relaxation, sun and waves. Good morning. We are gonna go on a hike today up to see some very unique trees. There's several hikes around here and this is just one of them. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. Love you guys. This is the Enchanted Forest connecting with the candelabra redwoods. On this steep slope stand ancient redwoods and firs shaped into grand candelabras. By salty air and strong coastal winds, instead of growing into massive straight columns, the harsh coastal conditions here have caused these trees to sprout branches within multiple trunks. This grove of redwoods, known as the Enchanted Forest, contains many of these controlled trees, some of which are more than 500 years old. Oh, those are stinging nettles. I feel it. Ow, right in my knee. Got me. I'll bet. I just put my knee down the stinging nettles. Oh, good. <laughs> I hope you have a better reaction than Gala. Like. Uh, okay, yeah. that's right. One good picture. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Life, baby, life. We're living. Uh, Thank you for this moment. <laughs> well, that was a fun weekend. Wish we could do a little more hiking and show you a little more, but Nick actually fell and hurt his hip pretty bad on our first hike. So this is the results of my falling out of the tree. I was wearing these shorts when I fell. There was a stick and it, I landed on it. It jabbed me right there into the hip bone. And now I can't walk straight. As a boo-boo. It hurts a lot. Tremendously. And that was four days ago. That was four days ago. Tree limb that I landed on was about right there. And uh, it moved quite a bit and my whole ass was hanging out and uh, it was quite a sight to be seen because it was a pretty bloody mess. <laughs> and I got poison oak. Yep, that's that's a fat blister. That's yeah. A scar. And we're treating this with Technu and it spread over here and then it spread over here. And you got a boo -boo on your and knee. then I got stinging nettles right here. So, like I said, it's a wonderful place to go, but I don't recommend it because it's a dangerous place to go too, man. It's where all the wild things go. So, we're just going to have a challenging drive out of here to start with. Uh, see if he can do the clutch in the truck on this bouncy, windy road. 
So we were going to stay a few extra days just for some peace and quiet. Um, but we think it's a better idea to actually leave with our friends just to make sure we can get out of here safe in case someone needs to help us. Yeah, bye Trixie. Bye Trixie. Oh, that's good. oh David! What happened? Still cold. It happens, brother. Backwards. She's just gonna jump it. Go, Rachel, jump it. Oh, dude. So we're sad to see your friends go, but now we're gonna have maybe one or two more days. After a therapeutic massage from our certified massage therapist friend Rachel, Nick's hip appeared to be getting better. So we decided to stay a few extra days on the coast to continue to let him heal before heading back to the intense heat inland. We were worried that the hard drive out would aggravate his hip and possibly cause more damage. Join us next week to see if we make it back to civilization or need to call in medical reinforcements. enjoyed today's video hit that like if you haven't already subscribed and join us next Tuesday on another adventure.